Hey, what's up YouTube? Today, <clears throat> we're gonna update the Sony Ericsson and it's the Xperia. I, uh, I just got it. It's the Xperia X10 Mini Pro. Well, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I got this phone because I traded my legend to two other phones and this one was in it and if I look at the screen then I'm like this would be crazy to do a thing like that because the other one had a three point something screen just same as the iPhone and I was like you know this is really small but I wanted for a special case you know I wanted to play around a little bit with it and also see because uh, the guy that I got it from he never did no update and he just used it as a phone you see so now he wants to use what's up and this thing was running 1.6 and you know I just uh, checked to see if I could find some software updates and this is also for my Dutch people uh, said the Sony Xperia X10 Mini Pro hebben de oude die nog op Android 1.6 uh, loopt uh, wel die gaan we vandaag updaten and we're gonna update it to a uh, version Android 2.1 so we're gonna get Frio on this thing and how to do it well it's really simple you go to sonyericsson.com and up there you can see uh, select your phone select the XP uh, the X10 Mini Pro and then uh, you will have to download the program called PC Companion and only thing you have to do is connect your phone to PC Companion and then you will get the screen and let's take a look what's gonna happen alrighty then this is the phone I hope she can stand like this without irritating the board well, can't really see it but okay um, only thing we have to do is we just hit start and now it's it's starting it's busy you see there at the back there's an update for the phone we just hit that update the phone software and now it's busy a backup marker uh -huh. and now we just have to hit next I didn't make no backup because it can make a backup for you to the side but we're not gonna do that we're just gonna download the program it's now getting the software that will take like a couple of minutes as we can see we're already at 5% sorry for the blurry cam but we're gonna let this process go and then soon we will see the update <clears throat> now let's be honest isn't it really cool from Sony Ericsson that they still support you know this phone because I just tried it on 1.6 and I was searching for some regular programs I used to you know download and none of them were available no whatsapp no um, oh I see something is happening there let's take a look We don't have to do anything here. It's updating the phone software. Okay, it says uh Okay. So what we need to do 
we need to uh, remove the USB and see if the battery is more than 50% yes it is and then we have to turn off the phone turn her off we have to like really turn her off so turn off can you can you see something I hope you can okay we're turning off the phone and then wait five seconds and then insert the USB again okay oh wait hold the back button oops oh hold on I I I I I, I screwed up we have to turn it off hold on turn off turn off turn off turn off turn off I don't know if it's turning off by I was pressing some <laughs> the wrong button let's see if we can turn it off like that if that doesn't go we just remove the blood clad battery like that we just turn her off so she's off I did not read too good so what we do we hold the back button the back button here the back button you keep pressing that one and then you stick in the cable and then you hold it installing device driver software you see and I think now we can let go of the button how long should we hold it I think it's I think it's working it's busy putting over the I'm letting go of the bottom now you see it's it's uh, transmitting the software to the phone now and this is interesting because many people don't use these phones anymore but it is still a nice phone I'm gonna use it for something else and I know that Sony Ericsson use good uh, quality components for instance the sound is really good of this phone the video pictures also nice with flitch I call it flits so that all is really nice and you can see it's transferring the software and at the next step I will get back to you okay there we go at the next step we have to remove we remove the USB and we turn on the phone there we go it might take a while before she goes on there you can see the logo Sony Ericsson and now she's gonna perform the update and don't remove the battery while you start up the phone and there we go sorry if the cam is blur it's 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 really a yeah it's a samsung samsung cam so i just got it 
so I couldn't say I don't want it, you know. <clears throat> but that's how the update goes for this uh, Sony Ericsson. And now we might also, in our next step, because this will be our little Android friend, because you guys know I, I don't use, uh, I don't use Android as uh, as my as my as my calling phone. So this is just for fun, you know. And because she's so small, she's perfect for whatever I'm gonna do with it. Although I could not discover a GPS in this thing, and eh? this thing has no GPS, but it has Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth. So. If it has Bluetooth, then I can also pair, and it's almost almost uh, the same uh, size. And that what you see there is the, my GPS, and what you see there at the other side is the starting up of Froyo. Look at that baby. Next. Next. Next, 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 next. And why did the battery have to be full for at least 50%? 50% is very safe, could also be on 25%. But um, because, as you could see, after transferring with the USB cable, Oh, this look awesome. Look at that. And now we have version about the phone. Version 2.1. I don't know if you can read it. I will try to bring it a little bit. Oh man, look at the blurry cam. This is no this is not beautiful. Huh? Can you see it? 2.1 model number anyway um, so that's how to update this phone and now I can install certain programs that I wanted and now I have to log in with my Google market account and let me do that real fast and then we'll see if I can still show you some little programs that I will install on this thing so today it's a Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 Mini Pro in the hot seat.